Hello, my mindful yogis. It's Mike from Iceland. I'm here at Iceland Power Yoga and I wanted to record a flow for you guys. Um, I'm still working out the logistics of getting a class recorded outside. That's not like the last one that I filmed here in Iceland where it was basically this wind blowing for the whole flow. So I'm going to get out in the middle of the night or very early in the morning and I promise, like I have before, I will get you a class recorded in front of a waterfall or in front of some beautiful Icelandic scenery. Until then, I'm here at Iceland Power Yoga. This is my friend's studio. I'm here right now in Iceland to help her look after the studio while she's on a vacation with her family because she's been working through this pandemic to keep her community up and running. So I'm so happy to be here in this community teaching some yoga to them. It's been um, amazing being in the studio and teaching to a room with people and the heat and hearing the ohms and hearing the breath. And that's not an option that everybody has, right? So I still want to stay connected to all of my community out there that is practicing from home and um, still practicing social distancing. So today, right now, I'm feeling like some fire. So we're going to do a fire flow. It's been a little while since I did a fire flow. And I think it'll be fun to just move our bodies, get some sweat, get some core, and see what happens. So let's start on our back today. Supta Baddha please. Come down onto your back. Take the soles of your feet together. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. And like always, we start by connecting to our breath. Inhale. And exhale. Ujjayi breathing through your nose, fill your lungs. And through your nose, empty your lungs. Do that again. In and out. One more breath. Open your mouth, let it out. yourself a squeeze. You can make some little circles clockwise and counterclockwise with the knees. We're gonna move in a minute here, just letting your body land, letting your body wake up. Just kind of wiggling out the low back on the floor. Press your heels up to the ceiling. Flex your feet. Hands can be underneath your low back. Or if you want even more fire, you can extend your arms out beside your body with your palms parallel to the floor. Take a breath in, lower down to third. Keep your core engaged wherever you are. Big toes touching, heels apart. Lower down to third. Core muscles strong. Breathe in. A couple inches off the mat, look at your toes. Reach your fingertips if they're extending. Lengthen, ribs to hips. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Release down, lift your legs back up. Heels together, toes wide. Externally rotate your legs. Take a breath in, lower down a third. Keep the toes opening wide. Lower down another third. Keep your legs active and strong. Breathe in, one inch off the mat. Look at your toes, scissor legs. So back and forth here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Squeeze your core muscles, ribs to hips for three, Two, and one, heels together, slowly lift up, shoulders down. Reverse the rotation, your toes are touching, externally rotate the heels. So you're internally rotating your thighs. Yeah, your heels are wide, breathe in. Lower down a third. Inhale, heels wide, down another third. Reach your fingers, yogis. Couple inches off the mat, look at the toes. Little circles here, oh, I have to touch my fingers down for three. For two, for one, just stabilizing here. Do three the other direction, two, and one. Knees into your chest, Ooh, so good. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Feet up to the ceiling. Fingertips by your ears, elbows nice and wide. Then lift up, so engaging core muscles. We'll be on a bandha by taking the shoulders off the mat, ribs pulling towards hips. Breathe in, feet are flexed, take an inhale, right heel one inch off the mat, and alternating scissor legs for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Alternating twist with the upper body here for one, two, three, four. Legs still straight and strong. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hug your knees into your chest. Make some little circles each way. Grab the backs of your knees. Start to rock front to back. Do a few rocks. And then you'll come up to Navasana, to boat pose. We're going to hold here. Any variation that you're working on. So play here. This can be supported with hands and knees. If you need it, take your fingers behind you, right? Parallel shins to the floor. You can extend the legs out. Shoulders back. Chest lifts, wherever you are. Core is working. Hug it in. Breathe in. And breathe out. Squeeze and stay. Big breath. Rock back. Do a few rocks using your core muscles. Hover at each side. At the top and then rock back. Come up and hold both. Shins parallel to the floor. Hands behind your head. And we do seated bicycle twists here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, twisting, squeezing core, three, two, and one. And rock and roll. Do a few of these and then you're going to step, shoot, hop back to a little plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Land in your first down dog here. Inner ankles back, outer ankles down. Wake up feet. Lift your upper arm bones to the ceiling. Melt your chest to the floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feet together, three-legged dog. Lift up, open the hips. Stack your right hip over the left. You can wiggle toes and ankle. Keep your chest squared to the floor. Drop the right shoulder down if it's popping up. Breathe in. Switch sides. Left foot up. Open up. Press the floor away with all your fingers. Ground down through that bottom heel. And then open the hips more. Lift up. Drop the left shoulder down if it's popping up. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your knee high, and then release your foot down. Pedal out your knees. Bringing that vitality to the body. Feel it generating, yogi, invite it in. You'll walk your feet about a third of the way up, not too much. Take a shorter down dog stance here. Come up onto your tippy toes. Shift your shoulders over your wrists. Breathe in. Get into your hands here, so spread your fingers, really root the knuckles. You want your shoulders stacked over the hands, over the wrists. On your toes here, lift your right heel up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Flex your right foot. Lift your heel as high as you can. Get to the top of that range of motion. Feel your glute wake up. Keep your shoulders over your wrists. Little pulses at the top. Ten, nine, feel your glute. Squeezing six. Five, four, oh, three, two, squeeze and release on your toes. Stay here. Lift up the left foot. Keep the shoulders over the wrists. You take a couple breaths to get to the height of this range of motion. Find the top of it. From the top, you pulse right in that range of motion. Right there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release. Rag off at the top. Feet hip distance, grab your elbows or your biceps. Let your upper body go. And breathe. And soften. Even in this little bit more intense practice, maybe more challenging, the fire flow, letting your body take moments of rest is so important. Breathe. Slow your heartbeat down. Really resting whenever you need it. 
what I'm doing is too crazy and you can't keep up for any part of it, just like, don't do what I'm doing and rest for a moment. You join back in whenever it fits. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Release fingertips to the mat. True north in your feet. Big toes are touching. Come up to a flat back on your next breath in. Long spine. Hold. Extend it out and reach up. Bring your hands to heart center. Let's start with one only. Breathe in. Now we move, Yogi. Reach your fingertips up. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Hop back, a little plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Inner ankles back. Root the feet. Ground the feet down. Then lift onto your toes. Bend your knees. We're moving. Hop or step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Hold. Extended mountain. Press your feet. Reach up. Start to go back a little bit. And then fold forward. Melt over the legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Hop back to a little plank. Maybe add a little pulse there. A little couple push-ups. Upward facing dog. Just a pulse at the bottom. Downward facing dog. Add in the work. Press down on the exhale. And we move. Lift up. Bend your knees. Hop to the top. Flat back. And fold. Extended mountain. Length of the body. Fold forward, hug in. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana at the bottom, a couple little pulses, at the in, and then upward facing dog, push forward with the chest, downward facing dog, hips go back. Full breath in. Full breath out. Onto your toes. Bend your knees, stay in the flow, hop, flat back, and fold. Extended mountain reach, lengthen the sides of your body. Fold forward. Get small here. Pull into your legs. Flat back. Chaturanga Dandasana. With the little pulse at the bottom. And then upward facing dog. Add it in. Downward facing dog. Empty it out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Up. Bend. Pause. Hug muscle to bone. And then fly forward, right away, flat back. Fold. Extend, go up, lengthen, reach, fill, and an empty fold. Halfway. Chaturanga Dandasana. Little pulses, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, take a breath out. High plank, low plank. Hold it, do 10 little pulses. 10, 9, 8, at the low part of the range of motion. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Land. Feel that heartbeat. Hopefully, some sweat starting to come. Breathe with it. Slow down for a second. Two more in. Now, fill up, empty out, lift onto your toes, bend your knees, hop, flat back, and fold. Look at Asana, chair pose. Let's see. Option here to lift your heels off the mat, so a little more fire in there. Lift the heels, sink down into your seat. A little shaking is okay, yogi. Stability here. Skin the muscle. Muscle pulling a bone. Two more. Chest higher. Tailbone deeper. Last breath in. Arm bones back. Fold over your legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Little pulses. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. 
Right side, warrior one. Reach up. Lunge down. Keep your hips square. Yeah, right hip back. Left hip forward. Lunge. Option for front heel to lift. Different muscles. Hello. Wake them up. Back heel can lift. Use caution. Use stability. Scissor the inner thighs. Squeeze your legs. We'll take another breath. Lift up. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one. Start with the heels down. Build the foundation intentionally. Get your feet rooted. Mounds of your toes. Press them down. Breathe in. Lunge a bit deeper. Front heel can lift. Back heel can lift. Inner thigh muscles scissoring in. Feel that squeeze to center. Two more. In and out. Lift your chest. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. Upward. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Again, fill. And empty. One more. Press down. Lift up. Bend, look forward. Hop. Flat back and fold. Chair, your heels can lift just for the one breath. And then fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Well, pulses if that feels good. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. One or both heels can lift as you reach. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Your toes if that's there. Up dog. Down dog. Left side. Fill. Lift the heels. Squeeze the inner thighs. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. With breath. Inhale. Exhale. Full breath in. Full breath out. Ujjayi. Loud. Powerful breath. Press your hands and feet down, lift up, bend, fly forward, right away, lengthen the spine, and fold. Utkatasana, heels can lift. Uttanasana, fold forward, it's okay, and stable is not bad, lengthen. Chaturanga Dandasana, be playful, upward facing. If it's a little messy, who cares? Downward facing. Right side. Stable. Squeezing the inner thighs. They keep the legs strong, even if they're shaking a little bit. Reach. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow. Upward dog. Downward dog. Left side. Feet. Mounds of your toes. Press. Reach the fingers. Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow it out. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out, again, press down, one more, empty out, bend your knees, hop to the top, flat back, and fold, chair, lift the heels, squeeze the leg muscles, fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Right side. Warrior one. You can lift the heels. Chaturanga Dandasana. If it's wobbly, that's okay. Upward facing dog. Breathe in. Downward facing dog. Left side. Last one. Feet to fingers. Full body. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog. Child's pose, do that. Whew. Sit back. And it's just for a moment, so take advantage, Yogi. Breathe. Cool down. Just a few breaths. In. And out. Fill. And empty. One more breath. 
sit back onto your heels. Tabletop. Bring your hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips here, okay? Then you're going to extend your right fingertips forward and your left leg back. If this feels crunchy on your knee, like it does for me a little bit there, you can fold up the edge of your mat just to give yourself padding or you know what, a towel is also good. Something like that. So reaching right fingertips forward, left heel back. Really find length here. Extend through the back heel, extend through the fingertips. And then lift that right shoulder onto your back, hug it in. Lift that back leg, get the glute working. Take a breath in, lengthen. Exhale, crunch elbow to knee, round your back, squeeze in and then extend, reach forward. So you're called bird dogs. Hug in and squeeze, and then lengthen and lift. Three more, hug in, and reach. Again, squeeze, round the back, and then lengthen, long. One more, hug in, squeeze the belly, lengthen out, and then release down. Switch sides. So again, if you need padding under the knee, take it. Left fingertips forward, right heel back. Lift up. You press into the floor to lift higher. Core muscles are so strong. Breathe in. Crunch, hug in, round the back. For five. Four. Three, squeeze, then lengthen. Two. Go long. One more, hug in and round. Reach. Release down. Do some cat cows here quickly. Inhale, look up, chest forward. Exhale, press the floor round your back. Do that again. Look up, pull your chest through the arms. And then press the floor, belly in as you round. Last one. Cow. And cat. Neutral spine. Downward facing dog. Pedal out your knees. Lift your right foot up. Step your knee to your, not step, bring your knee to your nose, shift forward. Hold it here for two breaths in. Lift your knee to your chest, hug it. Breathe in. Stay for the breath out. Gently step your foot between your hands. Crescent lunge, come up. Reach up. Breathe in. Twist, inhale, exhale, back heel high, right shoulder draws back, breathe in, and breathe out, lengthen, and twist, warrior two, sink into the lunge, so you can even widen your stance here a little bit, Get down nice and deep. We're gonna move through the dancing warriors here. So flip your palms, both legs straight, reach your arms over your head, press your feet down. Exhale to warrior two. Do that again, reach up, ground the feet a lot, squeeze the inner thighs, and then warrior two, deeper. Couple more, in. Lunge. Again, reach up, press, squeeze the glutes. Warrior two. Flip and reverse, peaceful warrior. Long side body, extended side angle. Breathe in, breathe out. Reach your top arm over your head, bicep by your ear. Bottom arm, reaching forward, bicep by your ear. <laughs> and then reach. Imagine you're squeezing. There can be a block, but there doesn't need to be, right? Hug those arm muscles, hug shoulders onto your back. Breathe in. Keep that lunge in the front knee. Take another breath, reach and squeeze. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow. High to low. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Ha. Take a breath in. Empty it out. Ha. This is a hot yoga room, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Lift your left foot up. Press your heel back. Breathe in. Knee to nose, you hold here for a couple breaths. Squeeze your knee up to your chest, shoulders over your wrists. Breathe in, breathe out, step through. Come up. 
Hands to heart center and you twist. Keep active through the back leg. Active through the shoulders, the core. Breathe in. Twist. Again, stay. Twist deeper. Last one in. Last one out. Warrior two. Open up. Find a nice long stance. Down into the front knee. And then we're going to move here. So flip the palms, press your feet as you reach up over your head for five. Inhale, reach up. Warrior two. For three. For two. One more. Warrior two, lunge deep, flip and reverse, pull back, extended side angle, strong legs, strong core, breathe in, top arm over your head, bottom arm, it's just three breaths, yogis, you got it, squeeze your arms, squeeze your core, hug through the inner thighs, breathe in, breathe out, last one, reach and squeeze, Chaturanga Dandasana, Woo, flow it out, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, take a full breath out. Lift onto your toes, bend your knees, hop to the top, halfway, and fold, fingers to toes. Take rest for a moment here. So scoop up your big toes, just let the crown of the head dangle down. Breathe. If you catch your breath, you have to rest. Sometimes, right, if you lose it, you just let yourself bring the breathing back. Calm yourself down for a moment. Breathe in. Soften even deeper. Three more breaths. Fully in rest right here, not wondering what's next, not in the past, but breathing through release and restoration. Right here. One more. Let it go. Utkatasana. Sink down into your seats. Take a breath in, twist to the right. We're going to move with breath in the center, reach up. You can lift your heels if you want. And then ground your heels, twist left. So we're going to do three on each side now. Reach up, heels can lift. Twist right. Reach up, heels can lift. Twist left. Heels are on the ground in the twist. They lift in the center. Twist right, ground them down. Center. Twist left. I think that was three. We'll do one more on each side. They're so good. Twist right. Center lift. Twist left. Center. Heels up. And then fold. Oh, my legs are feeling this. Fold forward. Gorilla. Palms under your feet. And let the crown of your head go. Breathe in, breathe out, again, more and more. Release your feet. Palms right on the mat in front of them, we're going to move into bear. So your feet are a little bit wider than your hips, just barely wider than your hips. And then. Palms right in front of your feet. You'll come down into a squat here. So the knees and the triceps are pressing into each other. Press your triceps back into your knees. So you probably can't see that, but I instantly started quivering. You probably can see it if you zoom in there, like really pressing that isometric activation of the arms and legs. Feet and hands down. Wiggle your chest between your thighs and then zipper that up. Squeeze your inner thighs to the ribs. So you've got a supported bear going right here. You can probably feel that I'm quivering, but I want more. Right arms forward. Full expression. Lift your biceps by your ears. 
squeeze your inner thighs to your ribs. Inhale, exhale. One more reach, squeeze. Hands on the mat, knees in your triceps, right in the crow. Just feel a lift up, only a couple breaths. In and out, press, squeeze, breathe. Shoot back, low plank. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Under your toes, bend your knees, hop to the top of your mat, halfway lift, and fold. Sweep up. Eagle on the right side. Right arm under, right leg over, sink down. Breathe in, sleeping eagle. Inhale. Stay for the exhale. Standing eagle. Come back up slowly. Don't rush. Hold it. Breathe in. Sleeping eagle. Hold. Squeeze. Standing eagle. Come up. Belly strong. Hug it in. Inhale. Elbows high. Sleeping eagle. Squeeze in tight. Take a breath in, take a breath out, airplane pose, unravel. Bottom foot at 12 o'clock. Right heel, press it back, and turn the pinky toe down. Keep the leg active, internal rotation, breathe. Heel higher, take a breath in, take a breath out. One more, hands to the mat, standing split. Lift your back heel high. If you practice handstand hops, you can do some of those. I'm just going to do little pulses with this back leg. Pulsing here, keeping at the top of the range of motion. Can be little hops if you want to. Feel squeezing the glutes, pressing the knuckles. Three, two, and one. Release your feet down. Whew. Sweep all the way up. I'm sweating. I mean, I got the door open, so it's not that hot in here. <laughs> you go on the left side, hug in. Squeeze the biceps and inner thighs. Keep that activation to center line, yogis. Hug into your belly. Hinge forward, sleeping eagle. We got three like this. A breath at the bottom, in and out. Hold it, squeeze it. Standing eagle. On the inhale, then land on the exhale. Breathe in, elbows high. Hinge, keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. Breathe in. Knees tight. One more up. Hold it. Lift your elbows high, shoulders back, sleeping eagle. Last one here. Hug it in. You're going to take a full breath cycle. Hug tight on the exhale. Fly open with your breath in. Airplane. Chest forward. Collarbones face the front of your mat, in front of the room. Breathe in. Turn that pinky toe down on your left foot. Lift the pose higher. Up dog through the chest. Take a big breath in. Stay for the breath out. Last one. Hands down. Find the top of your range of motion here. So the heel high. And again, it can be little hops. I have not great knees, so the hops don't feel good for me. I don't do them that often. I already did a two hour back bend workshop earlier today. So my legs are already feeling it. Lift the heel higher. Pulse at the top, whatever you're doing. Some movement, something dynamic, bring the muscles, engage for five, four, three, two, and one feet together. Whew. Halfway left, and fold. Sweep up, take tree on the right side. Steady the gaze forward. Engage through the pit of the belly. Breathe in, breathe out, any variation. Challenge yourself, Yogi. This is fiery, bring fire, instability, uncertainty. Close your eyes, see what happens. Oh, you gotta bring the stabilizers. Squeezing, hugging, take a breath, and release. Whew, switch sides, tree. Left foot up. Gaze is forward to start, so um, create stability with your eyes, with your muscle engagement, you can grow your tree. 
the windy tree variation. The eyes open. You close them. Whoop, this side's a little more challenging for me. Squeeze in. Find balance, yogi. If it's a mess, that's okay. Hug in. Press down, lift up. Whoop. Maybe fall out. That's okay. Last breath in. And release. Hands to heart center. Whew. Sweep your arms up. I feel my legs right now. Fold forward. Amazing. Halfway left. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. <sighs> Do that. Breathe in. Sigh it out. <sighs> right foot up. Warrior one. Warrior two. Trikonasana. Straighten the front leg. And grab your block here. Left arm up. If you don't have a block, press your palm into the front of your shin and press your shin back up into your palm. Yeah, keep activation there. Wrap the top shoulder back. Breath in. Breath out. Four more. Twist. Again. Then hold it. Come up to stand. Turn your feet so they're parallel with the edges of your mat. Yeah. Hands to your hips. You're going to hinge forward, but just until your chest comes parallel to the floor, okay? And then from here, arms extend straight out beside you. So lift your inner thigh muscles up to the ceiling and then lift your belly button to your spine. Keep engagement through there. Crown of your head forward. Shoulders on your back. Working through your legs, working through your core, your upper body. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Belly strong. Hold the exhale, right hand down, left hand up for a twist. You can have your left hand on your little back if that feels nicer. Breathe. Twist the right lung up towards the ceiling a little bit. Inhale, exhale, switch sides. Left hand down, right hand up. Right hand can be on your little back. Your expression yogi twist. Core muscles are engaged. Press your feet. Twist your torso. Breath in. Breath out. And release. Hands down. Okay, bring your arms back out into airplane wings beside you. And then slowly flex your fingers. Squeeze your legs. Come up to stand. Woo. Toes forward, back foot in halfway, fold over the front leg, pyramid. We'll do some little hops here. So these are TikToks, they're a little bit less um, impact than a handstand hop. So keeping both legs straight and just taking little hops. Five, four, landing lightly, three, two, and one. Four, four. Keep breathing. Breathe out. Sweep up. Hands to heart center. Reach your arms up, flow. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Left side, warrior one, warrior two, triangle, straighten the legs, come down, palm can be on your shin, you're just not pressing into your shin so much that you hyperextend that knee, you want to press the shin back up, wrap the right shoulder on your back, breathe in, breathe out, spark your fingers, gaze up and twist, one more, pull yourself up to stand, interlace your hands at your back, press your knuckles away from you so your shoulders integrate, then you're going to come down halfway again, so this time keeping your chest parallel to the ground for a moment, for three breaths in, press your feet, lift your inner thigh muscles, keep your core strong, stable, breathe in, you can let the upper body go, keep the bind. <sighs> 
breathe, Yogi. Soften the knees. Inhale. Exhale. Again. One more breath. Press your feet. Slowly come up to stand. Turn your toes forward. Step your back foot in. Fold over the front leg. Find a variation. It can just be this. This is perfect. Pyramid pose if you want to lift the back leg. It can be little soft leg hops. Tick tocks. You're trying to keep the legs straight. Imagine like the arms of a clock. So just like little hops for five, four, three, two, and one fold. Oh, oh Lord. <sighs> Halfway lift. Fold, take a flow, sweep up, lengthen, reach, expand, and then fold forward. Halfway lift, high plank, step back and fold. Breathe in, breathe out. Gonna shift forward here, rocking front to back on the palms. Like the shoulders behind and then in front of the wrists, just a little bit, not straining the wrist too much at all. Just a little work there in the palms, the arms, the core, the legs. Take a breath in, take a breath out, pause here, forearm plank. Option to just belly flop if you need rest, do that. And then if you're here with me in forearm plank, same thing, rocking front to back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, and one, come all the way down. Whew. Rest for a moment, Yogi. One cheek to the floor. <sighs> Feel your heartbeat and let it calm down just for a second. Full breaths. Take your other cheek down. Breathe. Generous breath, deep breath, one more in, and out, chin to center, arm bone back, lift up into locust pose, chest, arms, and legs, lift up, breathe in, breathe out, Shoulders back, interlace the fingers, bound locust, push your knuckles back, lift your collarbones up, breathe in, breathe out, one more lift, squeeze, and release, come down. You can windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Floor bow, grab the outsides of the ankles. On the pinky toe side of each foot and then kick back. The more you kick your shins back, the more lift you'll get across the front of your body. Breathing in, breathing out. Don't forget to breathe, Yogi. Kick back higher, squeeze in, take one more breath, and release all the way down. Cactus your arms, windshield wipe your legs. Breathe in, breathe out. We'll do one skydiver pose, so good. Take the knees wide, knees wider than your mat, feet touch at the center, yeah? So Sukta Baddha legs, like where we started the whole practice. And then from here, you'll lift everything up. So arms, your forearms, your shoulders, your elbows lift, and then press your feet together, lift your legs too, as much as you can. Actively spread the knees, Actively squeeze inner thighs and glutes. Inhale, exhale, lift higher if you can. Squeeze it, strong core, one more breath, and release. Whew, hands by your low ribs, you lift up to upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Pedal up your knees. Come on 
onto your back. Roll out. And then you will lift your hips up into bridge. And come up onto your tippy toes. So bridge on your toes, lift up through your glutes. You can take robot arms here, really ground the triceps a lot so you can feel your shoulder blades squeeze under your back towards center. On your toes, just a little bit different work through the legs and glutes when you lift your heels. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Lift your right foot straight up to the ceiling. So you're gonna keep on the toes of the left foot, press your right heel up. Oh, feel this left leg working. Drive the hips up to the ceiling. Flex the right toes down, take a breath in. Take a breath out, little pulses at the top for five, four, three, two, and one, slowly come down. Stay on your toes, go to the other side, left foot up, flex the foot. Drive the triceps down as you drive your heel high, get to the top of that range of motion. Legs are strong, Yogi, core engaged. Take a breath in, breath out, little pulses, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly come all the way down, knees from side to side. Hmm. Bridge or wheel, yogi's choice. Go up. Press down. You can come onto your tiptoes wherever you are, bridge or wheel. You can lift one leg up to the ceiling wherever you are, bridge or wheel. Maybe just do it safely, powerfully. Legs, arms strong. Breathe in. Breathe out, one more, lift the heel, stay up and wheel, or bridge, you're gonna switch legs. Or if you didn't lift the leg, then you're just doing the pulse powerfully, not just, right? Be there, feel it, squeeze muscles, press and lift, take a breath in, slowly come down. Whew. Knees from side to side. We'll do one more back bend, whatever that might be. Any tricks you've got, lift yourself up. I literally back bended for two hours earlier today, so I'm gonna take a bridge because it feels amazing. Bridge is not less than unless you make it that. Bridge is an amazing back bend. There's lots of work happening in the legs and the glutes. Squeeze and lift up, take a breath in. Take a breath out, one more, and slowly come down, Supta Baddha Konasana, right where you started today. Full circle, right back to the beginning. <sighs> Just acknowledge how different your body feels than the first Supta Baddha Konasana we did earlier in this practice. I know mine feels pretty different. Rinsed out, wrung out, restored. Like, still feeling restored, even though I kind of feel like I got run over by a truck a little bit, you know? Like, still sore, but you can be sore and feel restored as well. Therapeutic when you work your muscles. Building strength, building stability, building stamina, building possibility. Every time you step out of your comfort zone. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hug your knees into your chest. Oh, squeeze. Make some circles, maybe three or four in each direction. Really focus on a massaging of the little back, pressing into the floor as you do this. So nice. Happy baby. Take the outsides of the feet. Flex the soles of your feet towards the ceiling, and then you'll pull your knees down to your armpits. It can feel really nice to sway here from side to side, just letting your low back release some tension it just built. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more.
we'll take a thread the needle variation here. So right ankle on top of your left knee, and then you're gonna activate by pushing the right knee away from you, not with your hands, just energetically push that right knee towards the front of your mat. Get the, your heel where you can kind of graze it with your fingertips on the left side, make sure it's close enough. And you're gonna lift up here, kind of like a combination of thread the needle and bridge pose. So I feel that right away on my right hip flexor. Let the right knee drop down as you lift both hips up to the ceiling. And robot arms here, your triceps grounding, your shoulders integrating. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Feel that hip stretch as you push your hips up, you drive your right knee down. Inhale, exhale, lift and squeeze. Gently come down and you'll switch sides. Get your heel in close enough on the right side this time and then lift up. Left knee drives down as both hips press to the ceiling. Five breaths in and out. Legs are strong and active. Keep your core muscles there. Your shoulders integrated for three. For two, press the left knee down. Oh, so good. Take one more breath in and slowly come down. Let your knees fall from side to side. We're going to move into an inversion. If you feel like you want restoration by this point of the practice, you've been working. So do, you know, you can do supported um, waterfall or deep breathing karate with a block underneath your little back. It can be shoulder stand here. I am craving a hand, a headstand, not a handstand. I'm never craving a handstand, to be honest. I got a bad shoulder. Headstand's another story. I love them. To each his own, right? If you want a handstand, go for it. Amazing. If you don't know how to get into headstand, there is a headstand mini workshop on my YouTube channel. Go and check it out. I will try to remember to put it up here at the top of the screen for you. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Ribs to hips, keep engaged through core. Whatever inversion you're in, keep your core strong. If you're in waterfall, just allowing some releasing of tension in the legs, in your mind, wherever you are. Take a breath in, take a breath out. A couple more. Core is strong, breathe in. Slowly pike down from headstand if you're in it. And then come down. Move on to your back if you're not already there, and we'll take a supine twist. Pull your right knee into your chest, and then draw your right knee across your body. Nice lower back stretch, side body stretch. Gaze over your right shoulder here. Breathe. As you twist, inhale, exhale, again, twist deeper, come back through center, extend left leg long. You want to make sure your hips are back in the middle of your mat, pull your left knee into your chest, right leg out, and then cross over, left knee across your body, gaze over your left shoulder. Keep the core engagement, create the space in your side body and your little back. A few breaths in and out. Breathe deeply, fully. Inhale, twist further. Last breath, hold the twist. Come back to center. Supta Baddha Konasana, last one here. Your choice. I'm going to finish in Supta Baddha Konasana. If you want a Shavasana, then you can go there at any time. Maybe just take a few breaths here and see how it feels. And if you want to transition, you do that at your own pace. Final resting pose of your practice, whatever it is, land in the experience of rest. And close your eyes. Calm your mind. If your mind
mind wander and bring it back to rest. Let your body experience all of those sensations you just generated. Breathe through them. Be okay with them. Be empowered by them. Take a breath in, take the breath out, do that again, fill up your lungs, open your mouth and let it out, Full body stretch, point your toes, reach your fingers, just feel your body lengthen, and then you'll come up to a seated position. Take your time, Yogi, there's no rush. I might have just dozed off there for a second, I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to look back and see. <laughs> Sitting up tall feels so good. Hands at your heart center, and just like we began, we'll finish with one ohm together. Breathe in. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center. And the fire in me acknowledges the fire in anyone out there watching. Together we bow and we say namaste. Thank you, yogis. I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a while since I did a nice long fire flow. So if you liked it, please comment below and I'll do some more of these. And that, please subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like them, share them with people that you think might enjoy. You don't have to force it, but if you do like it, please tell me that you like them. It really helps um, the videos get seen by more people on YouTube. So more yogis hitting their mat is not going to be a bad thing in this world. Keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, stay connected to your yoga practice, and stay tuned to the channel because there is a lot more fun stuff to come from Iceland. I will see you again really soon.